Hi and welcome back to my channel. So this one is going to be the Snow Adorable one from the um, Penguin Party craft pad. And as I said in previous videos, I am working on a challenge to try and get these done. The ones that I've started before I go on to anything else. So as before, I have pre-cut my cardstock and my Miri that I need. And I've cut this card down. This is an 8x8 card and it's got a cat flap at the front. So it's been cut down 2 um, inches each side, leaving a 4 inch cat flap. Okay. So here is the two pieces of cardstock. So it's got these lovely little penguins sitting on the snowball, which is grand. Just going to get glue. So this is my all-purpose glue. So I'm just going to do this more or less down the centre of this one on the back. A bit of tacky glue in these four corners, like so. Place this one onto there, like so. So that's going to be the under bit. And this is going to be the toppy bit. So coming across the middle again. Tacky glue in the four corners. Like so. Oops. This goes down on here. Like so. So then we are going to do this bit. So this bit is the bit where when you stand it up I like to have it so that it's got this underneath and then the insert can go on the back if you need to put the insert on or if you just want to put a verse on the inside you can just place it directly onto this if you have like hunky dories perfect verses and such or poems Christmas ones so that goes on to there and then this one goes on to the front cat flap and just down the middle again tacky glue in them four corners like so turn it over and place that down into the middle of there, although sometimes my cards, even though they're cut from an A3 piece of paper, uh, piece of paper, A3 card stock, sometimes the card is not exactly straight. So this one's not quite straight here for some reason, and straight down this side. So my mirror card is overhanging. Oops, overhanging slightly. I've just tried to move it and pulled it up a little bit. I'm f far from a um, what do you call it? I can't think of the word now. My brain's gone. Um, professional, that's the word I'm looking for. I am just a card maker that likes doing these for a hobby and to show you guys what you can make with your hunky dory collections. You know, because some people struggle and don't know what to make with them or don't know what to do with them. So this is just my take on how to use the kits or the craft pads or any other bits and pieces that you might have of hunky-dory stuff. So I'm coming in with a foam pad. So obviously I don't need loads of this because it's not all going to get seen. So I only need a little bit to go around, that's going to be sitting so far around because it's going to be um, sitting on this bit here. I 
as I said before, hunky dory, these ones, the strips, the pads come off of them, it's like drive me mad. So you end up with a strip that's got no backing on it because it's all peeled off on the bit that I've just done. But hey ho. So I'm hoping that I've put enough on there. And then I'm going to place that there. Nope, that's not right. Needs to go over a tad. Not too far. About there. Hopefully I haven't gone too far over with the foam. No, I haven't. I could have done a bit more on there, but that's fine. And then I'm going to take this inner frame out. And then I'm going to place some foam pad. I don't know if I can use that. No, that's finished. Another one. Let's get a new reel out. This one's going to go straight down the middle, the diddle, same as this side, straight down the middle. There should be enough on there to be honest. Bring the bin back in so it's not sitting in the middle of the room. And then this one goes on to there, like so. And then for the sentiment, I think I'm going to have this bigger one at the bottom here. Just because this is quite a big, chunky card. Put that over to the side. And I think I'm going to have that coming off that way. So I don't need to put it all the way across there. So again, just cutting a little bit of that off. Sure, I'm putting it on the right way. And if you want you to, you can put um, use your glue on this as well. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on the type of card I'm making. So that was a pretty simple, straightforward um, cutaway card. Sometimes I really don't like um, making my cards like this I prefer to have them do them while I'm videoing but sometimes this was just me doing these in the front room when I was on holiday and I was going to do them while I was sitting in the front room um, do them on my lap but then I decided I was going to do them on camera video them because um, making cards on your lap it's not the ideal place to be making them you can't spread out and I like to spread out a bit so I'm just placing these gems these are the darker blue ones and these gems are what I brought from Amazon I can't remember how much they were now because it's been a few months since I brought these so I've got three gems down there that side and then I'm just going to put three gems on this side. These are all the same size gems. I think they're three millimeter or yeah three millimeters in diameter. Um, I really need to write them down somewhere. I really need to put a sticker on the box so that I know what sizes these are. So I'm just putting three on the bottom of this one as well. So they've got equal on all of them. I was trying to look on here to see what millimetre is, but I can't actually read. I don't think it actually says what millimetre it is. It just says how many there are. So there's like 300 or 290 or something. It's very hard to read some of the writing on some of these. So that is card number one, that was quick, wasn't it? Um, as I say, after I finished all these craft pads, there will be, my videos will go back to how they were. So I'm just gonna leave that to the side for a minute to dry, and I'm just gonna sort out my next card and I shall be back. Okay, so my next card is a six by six, and it's gonna be a cake 
gatefold so I've already pre-cut out that okay that silver bit which is going to be where the insert's going to be so this bit is for the front so I'm just going to glue these ones down onto here I'm going to put that in the middle as like I normally do and then tacky on here and this one is Miri I think, uh, Miri, excuse me, this one is Rainbow Miri so for me to do this one the two pieces of small Rainbow Miri are cut to two notches under the three by two notches under the six and then the cardstock is four notches under the three by four notches under the six and then the bit that's going in the middle is two notches under the six by two notches under the six and then the insert will be four notches under the three uh, sorry four notches under the six by four notches under the six so this is for the top I think I'm working backwards on this card because normally I do the middle first and then this bit so I'm working a bit back to front today so that is going down there then this next bit onto the other side straight down the middle again Tacky either side and then oops that one's sliding off because I've got my hand on it slide you back up a bit reposition my silver mirror and my rainbow mirror so that is oops it's moved again because I'll keep moving it around that is that bit done Oops, this is moved now. There we go, that's better. I'm going to leave that to dry for the moment. That bit I'll do afterwards. Wait for it to dry a little bit. So the topper that I'm using for this one is this round, big round one. At the bottom. So I'm just going to pull these apart, taking the outer frame off. And then the inny little inny frame. Like so. So this one is going to be the one that's going to go on the one side and then the other one's going to go on the other side. So I'm just going to come in with a foam pad around this one. Hopefully, she says. And then that's going to go onto there, like so. And then this one is going to be stuck that way around. Make sure I get it on the right side. Trim that one off. So this one is going to sit on this side of here, like so. I think that would be enough on there. Oops. There we go. And that will open up like that. Although this one has moved slightly over again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move that now because it's probably sat, set now. No, it's going to have to stay like that. It's going to stay off centre a bit, but never mind. It's not going to harm the card. As I say, I'm not a professional. I just do this for personal, um, oops, personal. Uh, not personal reasons but I just do this just for myself 
don't hand these out. Don't do these for any company or anything like that. These are just me doing my bit. So the template, the top part that I'm going to use on this one is going to be this one here, or the not top part, the insert sheet, sorry. So I'm going to put this one in because this is going to be the make of my card. So on here you've got little notches, you can't really see it, or oh, can't even see it at all. So down the bottom here, I'll try and bring it up a little bit to the camera. Hopefully you can see it. So here it has little notches here, it says six. This one is five and so on and so on. And I'm gonna cut it just a little bit under the six notch. And the same again this way, just a little bit under the six. Just so that it doesn't, when you fold the card over, it doesn't sit flush at the edges of the card. Because otherwise you won't be able to fold the card over. And then this one I use my tape gun, tape runner, just to place a couple of bits of tape on there. And bring this back in. And hopefully it's smaller than it should be. It's not really working for me today this I think that card is a little bit shorter than six. So that is how that's going to go. I mean, most of my cards that I make, I just give to friends and family. I don't really do them for anything else. And I'll take them into work, some of them, and put them on in the canteen for colleagues to buy. Get a through requests at work, but for people that want cards made for certain, you know, people in their families. I was going to put that there, but maybe I'll put this this side. Oops, oh no, I can't put it that side. So it's got to go this side. Okay. Okay, that's a bit too much foam pad on there because it's going to set up too high now. So I'm going to peel, it, peel a bit off and cut it off just so that I can stick that down without it, that's better, without it sticking up too much or sticking that frame down too much. And I've got that stuck to my fingers. Cut fingers today. Stay. Alright. That one I just need to put some gems on. And I'll go and put my tape on top of my gem pot. So this one I'm going to come in with, I think I'm going to come in with some, oh, I don't know, did I want gems on this one? Yes, I am going to, I wasn't sure whether I was going to put gems on this one or whether I was going to put a bow for something different. But I think I'm going to come in with some red gems this time. If I can turn them over again with my tweezers. Don't want too many, so I'm probably just going to come in with three in that top right hand corner over here. Just so it's got something over this side, like so. I need my picky up tool, whatever I've done with that. Put them on there, like so. There we go. And that's all I'm going to do for that one, I think. So when you see me using this picky up tool, they come in a pack of 10, I think, something like that. And I got them from AliExpress. Can't remember how much they were, but they are used for diamond painting. Um, but I use them in here in my craft, doing my cards and that, because I find them easier to pick up some of these gems that are not got sticky back to them. So that is them two cards done with them two toppers and then I've got these little ones left 
this one, this one, and the one at the bottom here with the penguins, and then a sentiment saying, your snow adorable. This one says, have a much fun, have snow much fun this Christmas. So that's the ones I've got left there. And I'll do another card with that one, and you'll see the pictures that I take of these will go on my Facebook group, which is Crafty Calamity, which you're welcome to join, anybody who wants to join. And if you're making cards, you're welcome to post your cards on there as well, because that is the whole point of the group. It's not anything else. It's just showing off my cards that I make. I do try as well as put them on Pinterest, but I always, don't always remember to do that. They all, um, sometimes I forget to do them and then I'll do them all in a big like one go thing if I ever remember to do them. But yeah, so that is it for this one guys. Um, as always, thank you for your support. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my um, subscribers that have been with me for a while or at least as long as I can remember them um, joining or subscribing to my channel so yeah I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of you guys out there that are supporting me with my channel I do really appreciate it, it means the world um, and I know that people are watching me make my cards on, on there and getting some ideas and maybe even using my ideas making their own which is what I do this for um, so that people can make cards or copy my cards I'm going to try and do some different style cards as well I know I tend to do a lot of as I say simple sort of straightforward more or less cards that are not that are much involved but I do have I do make other ones I just um, not really made that many lately but I will once I finish these craft pads I will begin back into doing some different designs or different style of cards hopefully fingers crossed um, touch wood that they work when I get around to doing them I have got a few different designs in the making as they say but anyway enough of me rambling um, so yeah um, so everyone take care um, until next time bye for now